Hi everyone, welcome back to Rusty Rose Gravel. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am letting Kamut decide my route. In this episode, bumpy sandy trails, steep climbs, water, flowy descents, gnarly woods, and of course, stunning views. We will start in Bologna and head west to pick up the Ballstone Walk trail onto the hills. We will then leave that path and tackle the yellow brick road over to Bavelor and into the excellent Green Clue. At Glencourse Reservoir, we will climb Maiden's Clue and head into Harlow Reservoir down the drainage ditches trail. It's a simple gravel ride along to Bologna Common before we tackle the nail trail extension back into Bologna. So, I'm in the Pentlands, but should I have come? Join me to find out. I had a couple of hours to spare today and I wanted to go for a ride but I couldn't really think where to go so I thought, I know what, I'll let the internet choose for me. So I popped onto my planning app, Kamut, gave it the parameters that I wanted, a couple of hours, where I wanted to go and then picked from the selection. So once I'd given the location and duration parameters, it gave me a selection of rides for me to follow. There isn't actually a gravel option so I selected mountain bike for my trail. It gives you a difficulty rating and the ride summary as well as highlights on the route. So my commute suggested route is in the lovely Pentlands as they are on my back door. I haven't been out here for ages. So we begin our adventure here at the edge of Belerno where commute has started my trail. So I think we'll just get on and just start exploring the route. Okay, strong start so far from the commute. Nice quiet back roads. Now we're on the track to Carlops via the Borstein. This is a great little trail actually. Featured on my channel before, check the links. Today we're only going a part way up. Let's get into it. So why have I entrusted myself to the vagaries of a an app and its algorithm for route finding. I find myself with a couple of hours to spare this afternoon. It's quite a nice day. I thought I'd come out. Now, I'm not currently a member of a bike club or a cycle club, not for a long time now, so I don't have other people that I can go and cycle with who can show me the routes. So what you do in that situation, if you want to go out and cycle, but you haven't got a guide. So that's kind of the premise of this video. I'm going to let Kamut be my guide and to see how it turned out. So on Discover, on Kamut, it's different to the route planning option. You have fewer choices for your activity. So there isn't actually a gravel bike option. So you get road touring, cycling, adventure, riding or something like that, and mountain biking. Now that all the other types of biking seem to be slightly more biased to roads. So to make sure I got the best gravel, I did set it to mountain bike. Now, <laughs> that may come a cropper later when I, I inadvertently find myself on some routes that are less suited, but at least I've got the best possible chance of finding the best gravel. So that's why I'm here. Should I have trusted it? I guess we'll find out. I've been tossing all my thoughts off the deep end, drowning out my fears with tears in Thank you so much. So hard to Cheers. Die. I feel like I've been wasting all my time. So we're just winding our way up the ball stain track now. This is so much fun going the other way. If you do have a chance to come from Carlops, then come down this way. I'd recommend it. It's good. Climbing up the other side is not so great, but descending this side, this is a great little track. Second point to commute, well done. I like that bit, that bit's good. So we've done quiet road, nice single track, sort of gravelly path. But now, yellow brick road. <laughs> so I've only done this a couple of times and it's been a while since I have done it, in my defense. But every time I've done it, it's always taken way longer than I think it should do. And it's always been a bit of a slog and a little bit of hiker bike and a bit of a challenge, but it's a good route nonetheless. If you're up for a challenge, yellow brick road's for you. All right. Let's get on and tackle it.
Oh, it's about three kilometers long this before we hit the red road and back to Babe Law. This is not soaking wet like it was last time I was here. That always helps. So this is just as gnarly as I remember it being. <laughs> At least it's drier. You don't want to be doing this after any sort of rain. It just turns into a mud bath. But some of these rampy bits are just crazy. The ramps themselves are probably doable because they're so loose. You just can't cycle up it. So you just end up walking. So we've left the yellow brick road over there, sort of cut across a field just to join us onto the red road. Now this, I love this route. It's a shame Camus didn't suggest this one to me because I bloom in love riding up and down here. Either whichever way you go, north to south or south to north, it's a fabulous little trail. But alas, our fate is to go that way into Green Clue, which also I love, so that's good. But yeah, thoughts on the yellow brick road then? Uh, still tricky. Definitely do it when it's dry. When it's wet, it just becomes boggy and horrible. It's mega rough. I still haven't managed to clean it yet. Foot down, maybe three or four times. So still a bit too challenging for me. So yeah, don't expect an easy gravel ride on that one. But now I think it's a bit more standard. We'll go through the standard route and then head our way up Maiden's Clue. Let's get into it. Trapped inside the mind of a dreamer. Right. Do this. Green clue done. Maiden's clue next. Sometimes a bit of a tricky climb. Let's we'll see how we get on today. It always starts off very rough, but it gets a bit better as we get up. Here we are coming out from the top of Maiden's Clue. Now I, I think my favourite way is to go this way, up the clue and down the drainage ditches. Quite a lot of people prefer to go the other way. And the main reason I choose to go this way is yeah, this, this descent is brilliant, but on a gravel bike, there's a heck of a rattler and you find yourself being shaken about everywhere. Now on a mountain bike, you can fly down here. And it must be super fun, but I think I'd rather climb the, the horrible bouncy stuff and then descend down the drainage ditches where it's a bit smoother and a bit more flowy and just feels a bit nicer on a gravel bike. So that's why I like to go this way. And I'm glad that Kamut agreed with me. <laughs> Whew, 
here we go. That's us up made in the clue. Nice little climb up that, a bit scrabbly in places. Perfectly doable on the build 40 mils. Well done, Kamut. Another good suggestion. Oh, yes. Check out that view. Right then, shall we begin our descent? I'm excited. Love that. What a great descent that is. I hope the camera caught it because I'm not going back up to get it again. <laughs> Love that. So good coming down there for a gravel bike. Nice and flowy. Shame about the sheep. Don't think I hit any. <laughs> no, I definitely didn't hit any. It's all right. Cool. Right. Now we just do this lovely little gravel trail along the reservoirs. And then we're going to go and find, I think, a mountain bike trail. <laughs> Let's see how that turns out. All right then, we've left the lovely gravel of the reservoirs. If you can see up there, that's where Yellow Brick Road was. Just see bits of it poking out. Up there is Green Clue. And then over there is where we came down, over the drainage ditches. Nice little loop. But now, I have a feeling that this is where my ultimate trust in Kamut is going to fail me here. I do not think this is gonna be a gravel bike track. But let's go and find out. All right then, nail trail. Already starting with walking. <laughs> Probably could cycle this if I was feeling brave. All right then, nail trail. Show us what you got. <laughs> Get a little bit of speed up. Pick our line left. All right. And we're back. We are done. That last bit, nail trail. Actually, not too bad at all, actually. Would be a lot better on a mountain bike, but managed. You definitely feel like you're 
slowing yourself down more than you probably need to as you're going down there. But the gravel bike did it. I achieved the loop. Thoughts on the on the Kamut inspired loop then? Excellent. Can't really complain. It took me onto lovely routes in Pentlands. Only one was slightly dubious and that was Nail Trail, but even that was still doable. So the trail was marked as intermediate as a mountain bike route and I think that's probably fair. I think it's mostly to do with distance, but technical on the gravel, some of it was pretty pretty rough, I'd say. Not major extreme by any stretch of the imagination, but no, it did well. You did well, Kamut. So yeah, can you put your trust in Kamut to find you a route? Yeah, I think you can, but also double check it after it's made it, just to be sure. Good. Well then, I think that'll do us for today. This lovely June afternoon. Look how sunny it is here in Scotland. <laughs> Summer hasn't reached us yet. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bit of behind the scenes bonus footage here as I'm walking back to collect my camera. So the Riva top from Endura. What makes it more gravel focused? I mean, surely it's just a cycling top, isn't it? Well, one of the things that I've noticed, well, there's two things actually. First of all, this zipper. It's magnetic, so it doesn't flap about. That's good, isn't it? It keeps it locked, so you don't accidentally undo yourself while you're bouncing around. The second thing, the pockets. So in the jersey, the pockets are further round, so you can get a backpack on and still access your stuff, should you need to. Two little bits, I think, that sort of help define the gravel-oriented cycle wear as opposed to the normal road stuff. So there we go. Very good. Well done, Enduro.